Hey, what's up guys? Okay, real quick, I want to make a video on something that just happened, alright, and just kind of correlate uh, two things together. So, currently we got Mr. Beast's current girlfriend uh, defending him. So, she's essentially like the last line of defense, almost, <clears throat> other than like, you know, the inner circle for this guy, right? And uh, so she's just said half the things that are said are not true. Uh, I wouldn't be with him if they were. Uh, it's funny to note that she says half the things. That doesn't mean everything, right? They, they didn't confidently say everything people are saying are not true. They're basically meeting everybody halfway in the middle while trying to seemingly run defense. Uh, you know, there's some people here that just think that this is for money because at the ending of the day, as a bear would say, uh, yeah, this guy still has a lot of money, okay? Like, this person here says they do anything for the money. And again, yeah, Mr. B still has a ton of freaking money. So, would it be beneficial to stick by him? Probably. We've already known, also, that more than likely he's gonna get away with everything. Alright, not to put a damper on this. Like, I'm sure he will never be the same again, or his brand won't. Um, you know, but... It's just realistically on the side of realism. I don't think much is gonna I think he'll recover for freak's sakes I'm going to make this comparison again like dr. Disrespect uh, admitted to you know uh, Having inappropriate combos with minors uh, Right and uh, or a minor rather Never disclosed the age because they were most likely younger than 17 and 16 and yet people will run with fake news, like the quartering, will go and pretend like the minor was 17 when that was never confirmed and was never even mentioned by Doc because they were likely younger. So overall, we live in an age where people are defending pedophilia, even on the right, uh, like the quartering, big rightist, big right winger, makes me ashamed to be a right winger, really. Um, just blatantly defending pedophilia because it's cool to him and it'll make him money. And if we have people on the right who are supposed to be allegedly the truth tellers and stuff, um, allegedly, that's the perception people want to give. Um, and I say this as a right winger myself, I call the bullshit out anywhere, fuck everybody. But, you know, if we have people on the right that are supposed to be the truth tellers defending pedophilia, like Dr. Disrespect, right? Of course, we're going to have a schmuck like Mr. Beast getting away with this shit, or at least partially getting away with it, uh, because a lot of idiots will not believe the truth as long as it keeps their best interests at heart. So just like the quartering and the weirdos supporting pedophilia on the right for Dr. Disrespect, uh, there are going to be freaks out there that are going to defend this guy. Um, and support whatever scams or shenanigans or Epstein-ish uh, activities he's had, like employing Jake the Viking's brother, a registered offender. Uh, so there's that. You know, people are saying she's saying that things are being made up in general, terrible choice of words from her by the part saying half. So again, this person pointing out what I just said, okay? Uh, they even made an article here, okay? Mr. Beast's girlfriend defends YouTuber fans as fans urge her to leave amid the allegations. YouTube star Mr. Beast's girlfriend has spoken out amid the ongoing accusations against her internet famous boyfriend. Jimmy Donaldson is currently under fire amid multiple accusations against him and his company with a former employee claiming the YouTuber knowingly hired a registered flex offender. You gotta get that Nux Taku in. Uh... <laughs> I'm a registered flex offender guy. He's just like Nakshtaku, um, who was featured in his previous videos, combined with the prior backlash against his former collaborator, uh, Chris Tyson. Mr. Beast is under the proverbial microscope of the internet, and fans are begging his girlfriend to reconsider the relationship. So again, it's the almighty, um, you know, the internet, the interweb, saying you gotta leave this guy for truth and justice or whatever. Um, I'm sure some people have good intentions in mind when they're trying to tell her to leave this guy. Uh, other people probably have like a more nefarious reason or just don't care or they're just doing it for their own personal gain, which is to, you know, attack Mr. Beast even more, which is fine, you know, all is fair in that in that kind of environment and given the people, the players in this, right? So uh, this this actually came out to go away from that for a second for the person, you know, the potential gold digger that's sticking around with this guy running Epstein circuits. Uh, we gotta go to somebody that's obviously cloud chasing. As I said, I am the realist. I will fucking call out anybody and everybody. 
okay? That's what I do, okay? This is the new sun. I'm doing things right, um, and I'm not giving a shit, okay? So, uh, like I said, just like there are, uh, you know, bad pro Mr. Beast people, there are bad anti Mr. Beast people, right? And most notably would be the clout chasers and the people hiding their skeletons and pretending like they don't do uh, the same thing Jimmy has done. Uh, one of the instances would be Jake the Viking who got exposed and then cried a bunch. Another one is uh, Lily, uh, a Shane Dawson sounding grifter, um, small grifter uh, going LARPing around, who by the way had a uh, Discord mod a pedophile Discord mod that he knew about and didn't do anything and said chose to deflect, kind of like uh, a lot of people in Jimmy's circle are doing. But again, that's a story for another day. The point of the matter is there are a lot of Mr. Beast grifters out there that are now trying to use this situation as a way to elevate themselves and hide their skeletons. Um, in this instance, though, I do believe it is more of a clout grab from a ex-Mr. Beast girlfriend, went ahead and... <sighs> Realistically, this was a whole lot of nothing. Um, maybe if you're on the emotional side of things, you know, this spoke to you in some enlightening way. Um, but it's just a whole lot of who fucking cares. Boo hoo, cry me a river, you had a bad breakup, right? And it's obvious, like, I'm gonna be real with you. Nobody gives a shit about you. You're not a main character in this. Hell, you're less of a main character than the fucking shitty YouTubers covering this, myself included. It's like, you know, unless there's something amazing that is going to nail this guy you know little clout grabs like this oh and then there's the instance of i heard this as well somebody saying mr beast was stealing my idea okay so now quote unquote stealing ideas is a I just think that the anti-Mr. Beast crowd kind of needs to chill. I know you want blood and stuff, but stick to the things that are actually going to, you know, get this guy and not make yourselves look like ass clowns in the process or clout-hungry goblins like Jake the Viking, um, you know, while Jake the Viking defends pedophilia because he decided he's not going to blame his brother-in-law for his actions. He's actually going to blame the 11-year-old uh, because he thinks that's smart. So, again, a lot of bullshittery happened around a lot of uh, fuck shit going around, if you will. But the ending of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we need to stand strong in this quest, if you want to call it, against Mr. Beast, okay? You know, feast on the beast and all that good nonsense while keeping the clout chasers, uh, you know, the obvious ones in check, right? And disregarding stupid, weird, emotional statements that don't hold any facts that are going to actually do anything. Uh, to get this guy, right? Because that's just like father, and you don't need that. <clears throat> but again, I just felt like uh, going ahead and catching you up. Jimmy's little last line of defense, um, along with his inner circle, uh, seems to be his current girlfriend. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually curious. I want to pose the question uh, to you, loyal viewer. Do you think this chick is just sticking around for the money? Like, is she, you know, is she a gold digger, or is she, uh, is she know more than than we? I, I was just keep it real with you it doesn't even look like it like she said half she said half she's not even she's not even saying everything that everybody said no half because not even they can defend him that much because they know that a majority of the stuff is probably fucking true so again look forward to the jimmy response as of now this is the last a uh, little update that I wanted to stuff together, right? Because, you know, people were like, oh, you know, the X came out. And, uh, oh, this guy talking about stealing ideas and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just cover all this in one fell swoop. Uh, and, yeah. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, I got, like, two other ones that I want. I want to make the Nux video. And I want to make the Rakata video that I've been slacking off on. So, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good rest of your night. And goodbye.